The Clay County Sheriff is asking for an unprecedented amount of money to support new technology and also new hires. But the county commission says it would take up half the budget if approved and result in a tax increase. Shelby Danielson is on your side tonight. She filed this report earlier from Green Cove Springs. I have to at least put on paper and put it out there what we actually need. According to Sheriff Daryl Daniels, what they need is $10.2 million. It's not my job to do anything other than to meet the operational needs of the agency. It's their job to pay for it. After months of saying they were understaffed, he brought it to the attention of Clay County Commissioners Tuesday, asking them to set aside that hefty amount for next year's budget. It'll probably result in a tax increase. Commissioners tell us if not a tax increase to support the sheriff's request, then major cuts or other projects will have to go unfunded to make it a reality. Some are hesitant for other reasons too. You had mentioned a few times, you know, where did all the money go in the past? Is, is that a genuine concern tracking money that you've given them previously? It is to a, to a degree. Uh, we depend on the sheriff to do his thing and keep us safe. Um, it's difficult at times to see where the money is actually going. As Sheriff Daniels remains under investigation following an affair that became public, he says morale remains high in his department. Do you think you've lost any leverage with the committee or with your staff, with your personal life coming into the spotlight? I don't think so. I think that um, people can separate the difference between professional life and personal life. I think so. He says low salaries are the reason it's difficult to retain employees. According to this data provided by the sheriff, they can only offer some of the lowest salaries in the state with civilian employees starting in the 20,000s. The majority of the folks left because of pay, unfortunately. However, the funding he's requesting would still not increase starting salaries. It would go toward funding new technology and 61 new positions, including 25 more deputies out on the street. He says that's crucial to keep up with the growth of Clay County and keep crime at bay. Shelby Danielson, First Coast News on your side. Now the county commissioners will meet one on one with the sheriff and the next Tuesday they'll set a ceiling for how much will be allowed allotted to next year's budget before they can move forward. Now to it on your